As a licensed professional engineer, there are certain situations where you may need to obtain a license in another state. So in this video, I'm going to talk about if and how you can get licensed in states other than the one where you passed the PE exam. But before I do that, let me remind you that most successful engineering professionals will tell you that getting their PE license was the biggest career growth driver that they've experienced. Whether that was due to a promotion, maybe a salary increase, or just more exciting projects to work on. You absolutely want to get your PE license. However, preparing for the PE exam can be a real challenge. But through this and other videos on this channel, you will learn everything that you need to know about the licensing process, including PE exam preparation. So please be sure to subscribe to my channel here as my weekly videos will help you pass the PE exam. And if you leave your questions in the comments below, I will answer them on future videos. In fact, this video was created in response to a comment on a previous video. So you worked hard and passed the PE exam. And now you want to plan to use it in states other than the one in which you took the exam. Can you receive permission to do so? The answer is yes, you can. But unfortunately, earning a professional engineering license in one state does not automatically make you eligible to obtain the license in other states. Firstly, let's think about why you would need to become licensed in other states. Maybe your firm does work in multiple states, so you need to have the flexibility to work in different locations. Or maybe you are relocating to another state and you wanna maintain your ability to sign and seal plans in your new home state. Some engineers might be targeting work or employment in another state and they feel that having the license in that state ahead of time gives them a leg up on opportunities there. And I agree, it can give you a huge advantage over other candidates. So let's look at the process of getting licensed in a state other than the one in which you passed the exam. Now, states do vary in their requirements for what one needs to submit to gain what is often referred to as reciprocity, or the ability to transfer your PE license from one state to another. But the following requirements are typically the same across the board regardless of the state. You'll need proof of passing the PE exam, completed state-specific paperwork for the state you are transferring to, school transcripts or supplementary experience records and references, and the completed state-specific PE license application. Yes, you still need to apply formally to that state, which can be easier if you have an NCAAS record, which I will discuss momentarily. But yes, you will need to submit all of these items, which is why it is important to always keep good records of your working experience throughout your engineering career. Now, since you're already licensed in one state, you are one huge step closer to obtaining your PE license in a different state. Keep in mind, if your previous professional engineering license expired prior to filling out a license application for another state, you may be considered an unlicensed applicant and you might have to take the PE licensure exam again. However, this does vary from state to state. The common thought many engineers have is that they can achieve multi-state licensure by reciprocity, meaning that another state will automatically recognize a license held in another state. However, this is not always the case. Those trying to obtain their license in another state must meet the same requirements as those that initially apply in that state. If your current PE license is in good standing, typically obtaining a new license in another state is as simple as filling out some paperwork and an application. This is considered licensure by comedy. This just means that most states allow a licensed professional engineer in one state to become licensed in another state by meeting all of their application requirements. If you received your license on different standards, maybe you took the exam a very long time ago and there were less requirements, it may be more difficult for you to become licensed by comedy in another state. Here's another potential option, a temporary engineering license. 
Some states allow licensed engineers from other states to obtain a temporary engineering license in their state. States typically grant these licenses for the duration of one project or over the course of one year. The state board website should indicate whether this is an option for your state and what the rules are. A temporary license may not be an option for the state in question, and if not, you will need to follow the application process in that state to practice engineering. Last but not least, here's one way NCAAS can help you obtain your PE license more easily in various states. The National Council of Examiners for Engineering and Surveying, also known as NCAAS, has made getting a PE license in a different state easier with their Council Records Program. This program compiles all of your license credentials in one place. Your record will include most, if not all, of the records and paperwork that you'll need to apply for licensure in other states. The process of getting started with this program is as simple as applying for an NCWS record. Once your record is established, they'll even electronically submit it to the licensing board on your behalf. This makes it much, much easier. And it's important to remember that each state in which you hold a license requires that you keep up with their continuing education requirements. Typically, each continuing education hour applies to every state. For instance, if Texas requires 13 continuing education hours per year, then you can apply the same 13 hours to other states in which you are licensed. Just keep in mind that other states may require a different number of hours or their content requirements might be different. For example, New York is typically more strict around the content being technical in nature for their PDH courses. It's critical that you, as a professional engineer, stay informed of and always adhere to the laws of each state that you are working in. You are responsible for staying abreast of changes. Your work and actions must meet the standards of the states that you are licensed in. So there you have it. You can apply for licensure in other states, but you might also look into whether a temporary license is an option for you, depending on the scope of work you'll be doing and the time frame, especially if your work in that state will be short-lived. I hope you found this video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. You can find the articles that we referenced in preparing this video in the comments below. Pass the PE exam videos will publish weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please, ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to you and let me know if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover or maybe there's a question that you need answered. Pass the PE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam. <music>